Well, hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Thank you so much for joining me. Just wanted to take a moment to um, let those of you who don't know, I do have a Facebook page and I have a Twitter account. And if you would like to follow either one of those, uh, just click on one of the links that are on the screen right now. And um, there's also links at the end of uh, my videos and in the descriptions beneath the video. Um, both of them just have the same thing. They're just uh, links to uh, my latest posted videos. So it's a great way to keep track of exactly when I post my videos. So you can uh, watch them as soon as they're posted when they're nice and fresh. So if you would follow me on Facebook and or Twitter, I sure would appreciate it. All right, with that out of the way, we are uh, ready to select a new quest. And something I thought about doing, uh, there's like two choices here. We've got this Defender of the Faith thing. Um, where we're supposed to fix these damaged shrines. And I have a feeling there's more to this than meets the eye. Um, we've already fixed one of them and it was just as simple as standing up a, um, like a wooden sculpture kind of thing. But, uh, this woman thinks that there's, um, uh, vandals that are knocking these things down. Uh, and so that's one quest we could do and then I was also thinking that it might be interesting to do one of these treasure hunts Maybe this hunt for the Griffin school gear Geralt came across evidence of the legendary Witcher George's equally legendary equipment Having heard many tales of this gears extraordinary traits Geralt decided to investigate Tempted to do that one There's six pieces of it scattered across the lands I guess one of the reasons I want to do this one is because I do want to upgrade our gear. We're level 12 now, and I really think we should be using better gear than what we're currently using. So let's see if this gets marked on the uh, map anywhere. If it doesn't, I'm not real sure what we'll do, to tell you the truth. I mean... Okay. Uh, so here's a piece of it right here over by Dragon Slayer's Grotto. Um, is that... The whole thing? Is that is that where all six pieces are? Are they all here? I don't know. Or do we go here and get this piece and then the other pieces will be revealed on the map? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. And um, let's see, we're over here in Midcops. Let's go ahead and travel to this fast travel. Go over to Dragon Slayer's Grotto and see what awaits us here. And let's see what makes this a level 11 quest. Uh, before we do that though, um, we should probably meditate. And it probably wouldn't be a bad, bad idea to meditate till morning. It's 11.02 p.m. and it's generally more dangerous to uh, venture out at night. So um, let's do a little bit of meditation till uh, 6 a.m. The sun will be up then. And uh, we'll get our potions replenished. So we'll go over here to our inventory. We will take our swallow potion and place it here. So we have it on hand. And um, let me mark this fast travel point on the map. Let's see, how are we doing in uh, vitality items? Whoops. Um, well, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We got a lot of bread. Got a lot of onions for some reason. Uh, a lot of baked potatoes. Huh, I didn't realize those were baked potatoes. Those are pretty good. Regenerates vitality for 10 seconds. The bread is just 5 seconds. The onions, 5 seconds. The bread is 10 seconds. It's pretty good. Also, some fruit. And then we only have four things of water left, which is a little bit of a cause for concern, but I think we'll be okay. Famous last words, excuse me, little girl. Who's crying and why? Oh, okay. I'll stay clear of the swamps. Uh, let's see. I'm going to check with this guy and see if he has any, if he has any water for sale. An amulet. Azor. Some tortoise shells. No, I'm good. Just, um, just wanted to see if you had any wa wa water. What else you have on offer? Corpse teeth and kidney stones. Tried remedies for trying times. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, no, he doesn't have any water left, but he does have some skulls. But we don't need any skulls. So, thanks for nothing. What do you think about Geralt's new, um, armor? This is the Nilfgaardian armor, and I think it looks a heck of a lot better than the other crap we've been wearing. I think it's really cool looking. A little bit concerned about wearing it, though, because, you know, for obvious reasons, it's Nilfgaardian armor. Let's get the heck out of here. So long. All right. Over to the fast travel points. 
And we're going to go over here to Dragon Slayer's Grotto. Huh, have we been here? I don't know if we've been here or not. This this could be dangerous. Oh. Oh, we're down here. Oh, is this where we need to go? So, I do not remember what episode it was, but we've been down here before. And what was down here? Was it Wraiths? There was something down here. And it pretty much kicked our butts, so we ended up leaving. But that was way earlier in the game. So, we might be able to handle them a little bit better now. I've got my Eardin ready. Let's go in here and see what's up. We got some um, suet mushrooms here. Some more right here. Now, I went to the right last time. I actually didn't go straight ahead. And the uh, map is making it look like we want to go straight ahead here. Now, we are going to come across some wraiths. And if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do remember correctly, last time we were in here, there was also quite a bit of um, gases that uh, made things a little bit more difficult. What's this? More suet mushrooms? Is this a dead end? Oh no, so we got a wall we could blast through here with Ard. So let's get our Ard ready. Whoops. Let's see, um, Ard. Yeah, see this is when things get a little out of hand because we've got this gas here. And what, what makes things tricky is that we have to dispel the gas by catching it on fire. And then we kind of have to run through here. And I don't really know what we're going to come up across in here. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, this is, this is very, very dangerous right here. Because if we try to run back, I always like to have an escape route. And right now our escape route is covered by poisonous gas. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and eat one of these baked potato. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to put it in here. I want to eat a baked potato. There we go. We're going to eat a baked potato. Just get my health up to maximum. And there is indeed something over there, but I'm not sure what it was. I was expecting there to be a wraith. But that doesn't that doesn't look like a wraith. That almost looks like some kind of hag, doesn't it? What is that? I wish I knew. I'd like to know what it is before I go in and try to fight it. Oh shh. Whatever it is, it sees me and it's freaking me out. Um, let's go ahead and uh, cast Quen on ourselves. Um, let's Ard through this. And uh, let's see, where is this thing? Where did it go? It's up here now. I wonder if we could Axie it somehow. It looks like vaguely humanoid. Oh, I don't know what this is. Okay, I don't... It's stunned. Oh, look at it. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Oh, I'm a little worried. Okay, we've stunned it again. Okay, so Axie will stun it. Let's back up. Okay, it hits pretty hard. Okay, backing up. Running away. Running away. Running away. Taking a swallow potion. Let's see here. Quinn. Okay, back up, back up, you know, back up. Oh, I need to back up. Okay, my swallow has almost run out. Um, let's try Axie on him again. I was not expecting to fight this monster. He's almost like he's invisible or something. Okay, stunned. Okay, back up, back up. So take three swings and then back up. Seems to work pretty well. I'm just kind of hopping away here. Oh, he hit me. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Geralt, back up. Back up. Geralt, get away. Get away, Geralt. Get away. Take another swallow potion. Okay, that was uh, a little reckless on my part. I got a little... Uh, little reckless there. 
Okay, we're just gonna keep hopping away, hopping away. We're hopping, we're hopping. Where'd he go? Uh-oh, I've lost him. There he is. All right, our health is back up to a pretty decent amount. I'm gonna go ahead and um, even top it off some more by eating a baked potato. Oh, I hate this. I can't, I can't do it during combat, but if I take it and put it in the slot, I can, which I think is idiotic. See, now I can take it. What's the difference, you know? Okay, he's stunned. Okay, take three hits, and um, for whatever reason, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, okay, let's try this again. Oh, oh, I didn't get him in time. Okay. Not bad, says Geralt. Geralt's impressed. Oh, Geralt, Geralt, you're stuck in crap! Geralt, Geralt, what the hell am I stuck in? I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Oh, this is bullshit! Oh, what the... I can't get out of this! What the... Oh. You've got to be kidding me. I'm going to die in here because of this. That is... Bullshit. Oh, I'm so angry. I got stuck in the... Scenery. Man. Well, crap. Now we're back out here again. Ah, that just burns me up. Shoot. I don't know what key makes me roll anymore. Let me see. Um... Doggone it. C. Ah, man. That is just so enraging. I almost had him dead. I was doing pretty good. Now I gotta go in here and do this again. Not happy. Oh well. Oh, damn it. I had already had my Igni ready to take care of this gas. Okay, I hear him moving around in there. So, let's, um, Quinn. And, um, like I did last time, I'm gonna help myself to this uh, baked potato. Get a little bit of health here. Let's get our Ard ready. Okay, where is he? Okay, he's over there. Okay, he's coming. He's coming quick. Uh, Geralt, why don't you just walk slower? It's a great idea. Walk real slow there. Okay, here he comes. Oh, man. See, sometimes he doesn't get stunned. Okay, that time I didn't even get, ca get to cast it. Okay, he's stunned. Okay, he's hitting me. I need to be a little smarter. Let's go ahead and take a swallow, because he's going to hit me again, no doubt. Oh, I didn't get him again! Oh, Geralt, you need to back up. Quit being such a hero. Geralt. Oh, Geralt, run away! Okay, we'll take another swallow. Ah! Oh. Hmm. Okay, why is that not working now? So, my, um... My Axie doesn't seem to be working on him anymore. It was before. Another Swallow Potion. Quint it up a little bit. So we're gonna Axie him. We're gonna try anyway. I don't know why it's not working all of a sudden. I'm gonna try to stay away from that place that we got stuck in last time. Okay, it didn't stun him again. Okay, I don't know why that's not working this time. Very frustrating. Okay, now he's stunned. Okay, three hits and then back away. Didn't get him. Didn't stun him. Okay, now he's stunned. Okay, three hits and back away. Okay, I didn't back away. I tried. Oh, didn't get him. Okay. Oh! Oh, Geralt, hit him. Geralt! 
Oh, didn't get him. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Sheesh. So we get enough. We got. I got an awful lot of green mutagens. I wish I had more blue mutagens. That's what I really want. Lesser green mutagen, monster brain, monster blood, monster ear, monster eye, Ekamara hide. So that was some interesting stuff. I don't know what the heck an Ekamara is. I don't even know what. Uh, let's see. What is he? No. Hmm. Is he a specter? Nope. He's not a vampire. Oh, he is a vampire. I'll be damned. That was a vampire? Oh my god, look at that thing. Vulnerable against Devil's Puffball, Vampire Oil, and Igni. I could have used Igni against him. Ekamaras. Bah. Ain't nothing to fear. Ekamaras. Why, they ain't nothing more than overgrown bats. Anonymous City Guardsman's last words. Like other vampires, Ekamaras are not, despite what village gossips might say, undead humans. They are instead post-conjunction monsters who have no particular feelings about garlic, holy water, or religious symbols. Unlike their portrayals in ballads and legends, they look nothing like handsome, pale aristocrats with charming eastern accents, though like catacans or necorats, they do bear a strong resemblance to overgrown bats. They also do not suck blood from the necks of virgins with a delicate kiss-like bite. They tear them to shreds using long, sharp claws and then slurp the splattered blood off the ground. Hmm. Ekamaras are, are unusually cruel and exceptionally swift. They are able to quickly land blow after blow, capable of smashing even the best Mahakaman-made armor into tiny shards. They should be fought with a silver sword, remembering that they can regenerate back health over time. Hmm, I don't think I saw this one doing that. One should thus never attempt to tire them out, or, gods forbid, wait for them to bleed to death. Instead, cut them down as quickly as possible and, if possible, burn the body to ash and scatter it to the four winds. Hmm, we didn't do any of that. Hopefully this thing won't come back alive. Let's, um help ourselves to uh, some uh, baked potato deliciousness. Mmm, baked potato. So, let's see here. We got some stuff over here. Redanian Herbal and Kedwini Stout. Kedwini Stout and water, that's good. Nilf Guardian Lemon, Dwarven Spirit, and Olive. Good, 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 all good. Uh, obviously, this is what we came here for, but we're going to look at the here first. Old sheepskin. Let's ignite this. Let's see, what's in here? Witcher George's Journal. Diagram for Griffin Armor. Griffin Trousers, Griffin Boots, and Griffin Gauntlets. Nice. So we found four of six of the diagrams. Let's read George's notes. Quest updated. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see here. Witcher George's Journal. Having heard rumors of a dragon, I raced at full speed to Velen. Sadly, I was dragged away from my hunt by the prefects of Gore's Velen. They summoned me as an expert to solve the riddle of a string of shipwrecks suspected to be the work of night wraiths. <laughs> Seems a dragon ravaging the countryside is a lower priority than, a, than blocked trade routes. Luckily, I was able to solve the riddle of the lone lighthouse quickly and raced off after the dragon. I learned that the peasants from the ravaged villages had taken shelter in the elven catacombs under Lake Windemer. Wise. Yet, they were not wise enough to bring firewood, and so warmed themselves by burning elven manuscripts. It aches my heart to think what knowledge about the alder folk went up in those flames. At least a few of the manuscripts survived, including some highly interesting sketches of armor, yet enough about that. Eyewitnesses have reported ashen scales, height at haunches 2 fathoms, length 5 fathoms, addendum estimated weight approximately 14 quintals, able to maintain a high temperature in its bellows, dragon lungs, for longer than a quarter hour. Conclusion, we are dealing with a green dragon. Commencing hunt. I wonder if that's what killed him. We'd have to assume so, right? 
Well, that's a shame. So we got some diagrams here. Let's see. Um, where do diagrams go? Alchemy and crafting. No, not in here. They don't go in other. I guess diagrams go under... Well, I guess we... Under, under crafting, yeah. So, we picked up the Griffin armor. Required level 11. That's pretty cool. It is better armor than what we're currently wearing, but not that much more. And it doesn't have as good of resistances either. We need a shirt <laughs> in order to craft this armor. Uh, let's see. We also picked up a diagram for... Where is it? Good grief. Some uh, Griffin gauntlets. A little bit better than what we're currently wearing. And we do have the ingredients for it. Uh, let's see. We picked up the diagram for... Ooh, Griffin Steel Sword Enhanced. Whoa, look at the damage this thing does. Oh, required 18, really? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, nothing we can do with that. Griffin Trousers... We can make those. Okay. Well, we may do that next time we are at an armorer. 